Good evening, everyone. Today we're making honey spicy cookies. Um, so I had a lot of honey in my house and I was determined to consolidate, uh, throw out some bottles. So this is what it brought me to. So I know it's not uh, Christmas time uh, for a gingerbread house, but this is going to resemble something like that. Uh, they're going to involve honey. They're going to involve some spices. Uh, some coffee. I didn't even know that this goes into the recipe. Uh, we have some, of course, tweaks in the recipe because we are staying dairy free. So we're going to use coconut oil instead of butter. And we are going to use our almond flour instead of regular flour to be gluten free. So here's how we are going to begin. We're going to begin with one fourth cup of coffee into a pot. Okay, we're going to pour the coffee into the pot. We're gonna uh, turn on the heat, okay? To that, we're gonna add half cup sugar, half cup butter or coconut oil, and half cup honey. Everything all together into the pot. And by sugar, I mean monk fruit sweetener. We are staying off of white sugar. Okay, we're gonna mix it all together. Let's see. Nice. Okay, wait till this melts and comes together. Okay, so while that mix is on the heat, we have four spices here. We have allspice, we have cinnamon, we have ginger, and we have nutmeg. So it's a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. It's a pinch of nutmeg and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, we're gonna add that to the mix. Okay, Short bubbles are forming. We're gonna put in our spices right now. Okay, and mix. Okay, now we have our egg and we have to add it to that mix, but the mix is hot and we don't wanna cook the egg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little bit at a time of the liquid and keep mixing this egg to incorporate it in and not scramble it. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Okay, once we've added enough um, mix, we're gonna transfer what we have in the small container into the large container. And we're gonna mix, mix, mix. Again. Okay, beautiful. To this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix. And now the fun part, something that I used to love as a kid. This is one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna add some vinegar to it and it's gonna start fizzing. Yeah, that's the reaction I used to love. Okay, mix everything together. And that's it, last but not least, we have our flour. We're gonna uh, add two cups. Okay, first cup of almond flour, mix. And second cup of almond flour, and mix. Okay, so this is the mix that we have right now. It was supposed to form and become like cookie, like, you know, hard cookie dough. So what we're gonna do now, since we're using the uh, almond flour and gluten-free, option we're going to add our trusted starch the tapioca starch uh to mix and you know to get this formed into cookie dough okay i'm not sure exactly how much but we're going to add enough for it to form okay so this is the consistency we got this is after the tapioca starch and we added a little bit more of the almond flour um, it's still not the consistency that I'm looking for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the fridge and chill uh, this mixture for a little bit. Uh, again, this is something that we're trying out. This wasn't meant to be gluten-free, but don't be afraid to try. I think uh, it's gonna come out regardless. We'll fix it, we'll make it work. Okay, here we go. This is how it looks. I guess this is as good as it's gonna get. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our scoop I greased it so it doesn't get stuck to the batter. I greased the um, parchment paper as well. We're gonna scoop a scoopful and put it on the sheet. Remember there is baking soda and baking powder in here. So leave a space. Okay. 
Okay, gonna keep on going. I'm gonna put it in the oven at about 375 and we'll see when they're ready. Um, why did we bother shaping these? <laughs> this is crazy. All right, well, maybe we still have taste going for us. These are definitely ready to come out. We'll see about these guys very soon. So since we made cake instead of cookies, we decided to take a cup and cut them out and make cookie shapes. Why not? They are soft. They're not crunchy. So they are cake texture, but they're nonetheless absolutely delicious. Uh, you may want to cut the sugar a little bit because they are kind of sweet. And I don't mean sugar, sugar. I mean, either cut down on the honey or on the monk fruit sweetener. Uh, but other than that, they're perfect. They smell great. They're soft. And they're great to have with tea. Enjoy.